As aquatint, we use an acrylic resist, diluted one to one with demineralized water before it's sprayed onto the copper plate. When dealing with acrylic grounds, it's of general importance to observe correct proportions and mix the ingredients well. The aquatint is instantly ready for use. Run some water through the airbrush to make sure it's clean before screwing on the container of aquatint. An airbrush must always be very thoroughly cleaned as it will otherwise easily clog. Rinse it with clean water after use. If it does clog, make a mild solution of soda and water and run that through. When the clogging is dissolved, Run some clean water through it again before use. Although the product is non-toxic, it cannot be healthy to breathe in the tiny ink particles that spray from the airbrush. It's therefore recommendable to wear a dust mask and install a cooking canopy or some other form of exhaust system in the aquatint cabinet. Before applying the aquatint, adjust the airbrush to produce aquatint grains of the required size and density. Use a sheet of white paper. Hold the brush at arm's length and spray the copper plate evenly, going beyond the edges of the plate to avoid irregularities. It may be difficult to see the grains on the copper plate, which is why it's important to place it against a white background sheet, which will show the position and quality of the aquatint grains. When applied, dry the aquatint for 20 minutes in the drying cabinet and etch it as you would a conventional aquatint. This aquatint has been etched and stopped out by turns, like a traditional aquatint. The airbrush can also be employed in the creative process. You can paint and draw with it and spray it on in layers of varying thickness. The final print can thus be given various grey tones and gradual transitions without differentiating the etching time. Here an even coat of aquatint is first applied and then the airbrush is used to paint in thicker layers. Of course you can begin by stopping out areas which are not to be etched at all. The main rule is that the thicker the layer, the lighter the shade of the final print in these areas. This plate has had an even layer first, then another layer on the lower right section and finally a washing with a mild solution of ammonia and water in the wet aquatint. Aquatint detail, sprayed on and stopped out by turns. Detail from the same print.
aquatint sprayed on in several layers with the use of masks.